Thought I'd do a quick uh, Masters Micros episode for you guys today. The three packs that I'm going to be opening, though uh, I have to say because of some uh, manufacturing goofs on part of the I Spy Production Majigger Company, or whoever the new printers of Force of Will, the TCG are, the packs come a little bit pre-opened as it is. The three packs I'm going to be doing are Awakening of the Ancients. So let's uh, let's jump right into these bad boys. First Pacarino. Look at that, that's so considerate. They know that I can't open a pack's worth of shit. So they, uh, they pre-opened it for me. Okay, first pack we've got Diabolus's Kin. We've got the Sage's Afternoon Nap. We got Freya's Transforming Cane. Snow of Lionorsferia, the Mountain Dragon, Fiendish Mirror, Mind Like Still Water, and our uncommon is Moonlight Nocturne with our rare being Shu, the Ruler of Air, with our full art being. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Ooh, okay, our full art is Nyarlathotep. The Return of Chaos. Nice. Okay, stick that there. And our rares right there. That's, that's not bad for the first pack, I gotta say. Okay, pack number two. How are you guys enjoying this new set, by the way? I, I think the cards are great, but at the same time, the cards are not great, if you guys know what I mean. Like the... It bothers me how there's no relief to the texture anymore. Like it doesn't stand out. You can't feel it anymore. It's pretty much perfectly flat with just a little bit of texture in terms of just like what you see on the card as opposed to what you feel. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, in this pack we've got Crawler Zombie. We've got Ballista Warrior. We've got Guinevere's Investigation, Dog Shikigami. Believer, Blinded by Faith, The Gunpowder Barrel, Laurier's Experiment, and our uncommon is uh, Kuhunochi's Dance, with our rare being bah, another Saime, the Shigami user, with our full art being a full art marine beast of the Lost Isles. So, eh, kind of, kind of, eh. This pack wasn't as insane as the last ones. Okay, last pack for this episode of Masters Micros, guys. Hopefully I can get something good, maybe even get an alt art or a god pack, but uh, I don't know if I've got enough luck like Nova does to get a god pack literally every set of this cluster. Okay, wasn't a god pack, but let's see if we can get something good in terms of rares and full arts. We got Dog Shikigami, Mana Transmuter, which I think is going to be a ridiculously good card come with the competitive season later this set. We've got Ghost of Ascana, we've got Arcana Collector, the Mountain Dragon, Snow of Lynorsferia, uh, the Barrier Castle, which I think is a great card, and I actually just gave uh, a few of these over to Carnivorous Jellybean for her new Kamimi deck. And our rare, oh no, this is uncommon. This is Soldiers of the New Round Table. Our rare is the Ocean Beam, take my hand and lead me to the TCG land with the full art being a full art mind like still water. So, <laughs> unfortunately our first pack was the best out of all of them. And we kind of just went a little bit downhill from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Masters Micros. And uh, if there are any like older sets you guys think are super cool and you want me to open up some packs on Masters Micros, give me some suggestions. I've been kind of like just keeping uh, on route with the new sets, but I'm thinking of maybe going by my uh, my local game card shop and uh, maybe grabbing some Echoes of the New World, if they've got any packs left over, or the Legacy Lost, because I know they've got some Lapis stuff lying around. Uh, not too much Rhea stuff, strangely enough. I would have thought they would have had some, some packs of those left over, but I think that's when they started to kind of start short printing things. Cool, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode of Masters Micros. Peace arenos, my dudes and dudesettes.